What's up guys, welcome back to another episode, to another horror game, Sweet Dreams. In Sweet Dreams, you're immersed in a nightmare where a creature tries to trap you. Your flashlight and your cunning are the only weapons you have at your disposal. Each night, the creature will get stronger, more insistent, and will try to trap you in different ways with deceptions and distractions. Learn its tactics to be able to face it and don't let yourself be fooled. Will you be able to hold on until you free yourself from the dream in which you are immersed? Well, I'm sure we're about to find out. Move the camera with the mouse. Okay, I kind of was expecting first person for some kind of reason. I like how the character is obviously kind of a bit timid as such. E, okay, there we go. The mouse movement feels a bit odd as well. Shine the flashlight by holding down the right mouse button. Press F. F, L to begin with. Put the flashlight on the charger to charge it. It kind of gives me a, um, oh, there's a game. I've not played it. How do I charge it? How do I charge it? E? There we go. Close the window. Keep windows and doors closed. We'll prevent the monster from entering. There's a game. Uh, it's this monster that tries to get you and you can charge your flashlight. I, I honestly, I thought that was, um, is that it? I don't know. No, it's a tree. Go to bed to start playing. Okay, well. <laughs> Nothing was going to happen, and I like his little dinosaur car shenanigans he's got going on down there. He also gives me a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of vibe with the bedroom one. I've not played it. I plan to play it soon, but it's a go to bed and he's drawing. What's his... Hang on. Hang on. I'm jumping the gun here. Am I? Yeah, I'm jumping the gun here. This is currently just a demo. I don't know when... Oh, did you see that? Did you see that creepy hand under my freaking bed? Yes, this is a demo. I don't know when the full release is coming out, but I'm really excited to check this game out. Investigate the note to start the night. The mouse feels a bit too sensitive. Let me just see if I can fix that. Well, it won't let me. Hang on. What did I do? How do I... How did I move it? Oh, it's too sensitive. Right. How did I do that? It won't let me amend it, and I don't know if I'm just being... I don't know what I did. How do I... Oh, you know what? We've got this mouse sensitivity now. It is what it is. I will just live with it. I will adapt. Can you just freaking pick the note up? The light hurts its eyes. Well, apparently in this picture it has no eyes, so... Anyway. Now we understand. Oh, there you are! <laughs> hey, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing. Can't, uh, we'll just go back to bed. Okay, so I've put my nice picture up there above my bed. My battery is fully charged. I like the fact I can see that. I don't know what I'm doing right now. And it's gone 12 o'clock at night, but it looks really bright outside. Is there anything else I can do? Okay, the time does progress, which is great. I don't know how many nights there are. Just kicking my toys around. So I know he was by the window a moment ago. Can I go in my little house? My little fort? No, well, he was at the window. Can I close the curtains, maybe, so he doesn't look at me? Aren't you meant to be deceiving me? Or something? Am I missing something here? I'm just gonna keep pitter-pattering around my bedroom, I guess. Oh, is that Mr. Hop? I like that. Hey, Mr. Hop. What am I seriously meant to be doing right now? I can hear him breathing, or me breathing, or someone's breathing. Stop breathing. Do I go to bed? No. No, you don't. I like that. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be several nights. Oh, sorry, dinosaur. And it's going to get harder, which I do love the idea of. And I'm just going to have to flash him, I guess. <laughs> hang on, was that door open before? Hang on, hang on. Something opened. Go away. Oh, that seriously gave me shudders from head to toe. In case you didn't know, head was up here and toes were down there. I like it. I like the fact it is a gradual build-up, but I did feel, to begin with, it was a tad slow. Like, I was honestly like, have I missed something? So I feel... It's the mouth sensitivity. But yeah, I feel maybe something happening sooner would be a bit nice. That way I know I am doing this correctly if that makes sense and i know we've got the clock there and i like the fact it is subtle it's not in your face but at the same time i'm debating whether i 
think one on like a HUD would be really great. F off. Can I quickly just charge that? Um, but I do like the fact you have to kind of search. Like you've got to go over here to look at the time. It's not so simple. I love the red eyes. I do like that. It's very chilling and it kind of shows that maybe this ch child's imagination is very running wild with the red eyes and like I like that and I do like the fact it is Boop. I do like the fact it is third person it's different normally these kind of games have noticed the first person to make you feel more immersed in the game so hey bud so I do like the fact we see our character we see how anxious he looks we get a feel for how he's feeling part of me is wondering if this guy is going to sort of come up from under the bed or something any up out from under the bed or something i don't know so that's one kind of steering clear from the bed at the moment but i also expect because there's quite a few things around the room at some point he will maybe peek up from behind there Hang on. You are getting feisty, my dear. I love the noise. It's like it's frustrated. Like, uh, you've spotted me again. I also am enjoying the fact that I can look around the room rather than going from section to section to section, if that makes sense. Hey, 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 hey. I love that. Sh I didn't even see in there. It was a shadow I saw first. That was chilling. I don't get why this kid hasn't pulled his curtains. I'm guessing it's also, I'm talking like, blah, 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 here. I'm guessing I've got to last until six. And I like the fact the time does go relatively quickly and you can see the minutes pass. And like, with example, five minutes at Freddy's, you know you're at five o'clock, but that's it. I don't know how many more minutes I've got to go until six. If that makes sense. So I like that. Oh, frick me, what are you... But you, is that, it's like Stitch or so. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you are. I don't know what that is. Who are you? I'm guessing it's a distraction. You're a, it's a distract. I bet it's a distraction. It's like, it's either Gizmo and he's been fed after midnight and got wet or whatever. Or it's Stitch on a bad day. I don't freaking know, but. <clears throat> oh, dog. I like that. It's kind of showing it's morning. Someone's let their dog out. I like that. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Go to bed to start the night. I think it would also... I know it's a demo at the moment, but maybe... A bit of story in between the nights. Like how maybe this kid is getting more and more anxious about going to bed. I don't know. That's just an idea. I mean, you can see it during these cutscenes where... He obviously doesn't want to get into bed and he's falling asleep, staying awake. Ooh. It kind of reminds me of a really skinny, emaciated regenerator from Resident Evil 4. Investigate the note to start. It says go to bed to start the night. Investigate the note to start the night. Stop breathing. They can, okay, now they're implementing the bed. I like that. I like the fact, as you can see, you can, uh, each night is going to get harder. I like that. I, I say, I like that. Hey, bud. Look, go away. Does that mean he's going to stay there? Go away. How do I get rid of him? I don't know how to get rid of him from under the bed. Okay, you're just going to stay there. I guess. Stop it. I don't like this. Right, you're gone. F off. Okay, okay, she is. Shiz, shiz, shiz. Okay, my battery is like super depleted because that prick under the bed. Is this a distraction? You're not under there. Oh, I don't like it. It's definitely the nights are getting worse. I found the best place. 
right by the charging station and then boom but I don't like being near the bed don't like it. oh you're in the freaking drawers can you go away f off okay he's opened the window nah 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 mate oh he's gone boom boom you open my window again this is stressful in a whole other freaking level Boom. 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 Yeah, it's definitely getting harder. Boom. 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 Like, it's just getting silly. Second night already, and it's like, nah, 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 there's too many. Go away, bud. Are you just a distract? Oh, you've gone. Good. What's the time? Oh, it's only two o'clock. Come on. And boom. 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 Come on, run a little bit faster. Like your life depends on it. I don't like being near the freaking bed. I don't like it. What was that noise? Can I charge that, please? Okay, look. Look, bud. Boom. No, not today. What's that noise? Oh, you're up there. I don't know what that is, though. I really don't. I like the fact you can see the handle. I do. Yeah, go away. I don't know if that's just a distraction. I don't know if he'll come out. I don't know. But I don't like him. I don't want to get too close to him either. Go away. I don't... It's the noises. It's so freaking creepy. Boom. Boom. saying boom that's my new word now because like i'm booming the light at them you're still under the bed like a weirdo nah okay right go away go away my battery is not doing too bad at the moment so i guess it just means i kind of got to stay away from the bed a little bit i don't know okay it's four half four boom boom I do think the little tactic of staying right here is great. Can't see any hands. I can hear something though. Right, go away. I think we're charged okay at the moment. But you know, at some point, they're going to use that wardrobe. They're going to use that little Heidi Chester. My fort. That's the word. I don't know what that guy is all about. I don't know. But going from one night one to night two, it's, it's day and night at the moment. The, the difficulty is really ramped up. It's not like a, a slow, subtle change or anything. It's it's Mahusif. Boom. <sighs> I feel very much safe in my little hovel holy uh, corner bit there by the charging <clears throat> station. The mouse sensitivity is really doing my freaking head in. Go away. Also, I'm curious to know, is it, is it one monster that can just move very quickly, or is it several monsters? I'm interested. Come on, six o'clock, dog bark, dog bark. Come on. <gasps> There's no dog barking that time, though. Oh, there we go. There's the dog. Another night. I wonder if this is going to be the last night in the demo. I don't know. I feel three is a good number to give you in a demo. That's just my opinion. 
Oh, what's this? It's going to be something to do with the freaking nightlight. Are we going to have to charge that as well? Oh, I like the little dog in the um, tank. I like that. What's this nightlight going to be about? And why is there all... <sighs> Hang on. I haven't started yet, bud. Don't let the light go out. How do I not let it go out is the question. I don't know. I'm sure we're about to freaking find out, aren't we? That guy, that guy, the monster, was very eager for me to start considering, like, I haven't even started the night yet based on the fact I hadn't picked up the notes. Right, where are you? I can hear you. I can hear something. Someone. How does the night... How do I... How do I not let the light go out, though? <sighs> that is my question. And what is with the orbs? I don't... Is it... Is it here? Is it also darker? Oh, hey. Hey. What's with the noise? I don't like it. I thought I heard the door handle. Ah, go away. Go away. Run! Run, little boy! No! I don't know what the frick that was about. Okay. The night three is a bit trickier, isn't it? Let's try it again. I'm guessing that little boy thing, us, with no eyes, was because the light went out? I don't, I don't know. Right, we know the light can't go out. Yes, yes, I don't understand how we don't let it go out, though. I, I feel like I need to stand in the middle because I can sort of get a proper surround and right by the dock if I need to charge it. But I'm enough here, I can see if he comes in. I don't know, I feel this is a good spot. I do like the Five Nights at Freddy's vibe I get from this. I have the door up there. I was going to say I thought I heard a door, but... F off. Oh, boom. Okay, I just plug it back in. Simples. Go away! Go away! Okay, it's in here. It must be in here! Can I not close the freaking door? How do I close the freaking door? Okay, well, I balls myself up, haven't I? Go away, go away. No. Go away. I don't know, that's a distraction. It's a distraction. That's all it freaking is. Boom. A distraction that's all it is a distraction a tasty tasty distraction boom 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 you've really got to concentrate like this is certainly picked up a lot you 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 yeah yeah. I don't like the fact he's opened the frickin' door. I need to charge this while I have a moment. F off. F off. F off. I can't see. Go 
away, go away. Go away, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. No, no, no. I don't think so, buds. Oh, just as I'm charging. He off. Go away, go away. Need to open, close the window. Nah. Go away. Go away. Let's quickly charge. Oh, go away. Look, go away, all of you. He off. You're thinking me. You're taking the plug out, aren't you? I can tell. Go away. Go away. Go away. Look, you prick. At least this kid's getting his steps in at night time, I guess. Right. Give me a sec. Give me a sec, buds. Look, I said give me a sec. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> What's that noise? What's that? I didn't like it. Right, you're peeking. Right, you're peeking. You're peeking. You're peeking. You're peeking! Stop peeking! I wouldn't know what the time is. Stop peeking! Stop peeking! Okay, uh, uh, uh. Five o'clock. We might be able to do this, guys. I freaking hope so. It's so ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It's so oh, you're peeking. Hi. It's so stressful. I thought I saw something. It's those orbs. Ah, uh, go away. Where's that noise coming from? It's you, isn't it? Might charge us for a quick split second. Will I have a moment? It's getting lighter. Have I freaking done it? Oh, relief. Okay, so I was right. That it was just three nights for the demo of this game. Right guys, so that was the demo for Sweet Dreams. Honestly, when I started playing it and I realized it was similar to that other game that I still can't remember the name of, as well as having the FNAF vibe, I was curious to know how they were going to make it their own. In my opinion, it is very, very similar to the game where the child is fainting off the monster at night, but what made this one stand out is the fact it is in third person. In this game, you can explore the room, you must keep the window shut, and in my opinion, just stay away from the bed in case he's lurking under there, and all of which I really enjoyed. I mentioned a lot of my thoughts during the gameplay, so I won't bore you with them again. But I will say one thing. That was a really, really enjoyable yet terrifying experience, and I'll certainly be keeping my eye open for the full release, which I do don't believe currently has a release date yet so that is it for today guys but if you enjoyed the video then do let me know by clicking that like button and if you'd like to see more then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell otherwise i'll see you next time